Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. You can uh, see me do premium problem solutions on my Patreon, or you can reach out to me in Discord. I will try and respond to everyone. Um, sum of even numbers after queries. Okay. Um, we have an array of integers and an array of queries. Okay, so we have an array A of integers and array of queries. This was a 2D array. Uh, for the ith query, value is equal to query i of 0, index is equal to query i of 1. So for each query, the index is the second value of the two. E each each uh, index of the query um, is going to be an int array with two values, uh, two uh, integers. Those integers represent, the second one represents uh, an index, the first one represents a value. Index, value, index, value, you get it. Um, we add val to a of index. Okay, so we have to add the value, which is the first number of each uh, little subarray to the second integer index. So a of zero, which is one, we have to add one to. So a of one, which is two, we have to add negative three to. A of zero, which is one, we have to add negative four to, etc. You have to add the value to the index in this array. Okay, I think you guys get it. Um, what does it say after that? Then the answer to the ith query is the sum of even values of A. Okay, and then we want to output the sum of all the even values in A. So the even values in A right now are 2 and 4, right? So it's 6. But we have to loop through the queries and then after each subarray, so we have to add 1 to index 0, that would make this 2. So that would be 2 plus 2 plus 4, which is 8. So in that case, it would be 8, and we put an 8 in the output array. So this output array is going to be equal to the length of the queries. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4 queries we have to do. So it's the sum of even value, uh, values after we apply each query. So after this one, the sum of the even values is 8. Uh, then after this one, we, do, we add negative 3 to this 2. So it's 6 because we lose an even value because 2 becomes negative 1. Then we have to add negative 4 to 0. So it's going to be 2 after that because this was a, you know, this is a 2 at that point and then it becomes negative 2. So, you know, uh, not only are we losing 2, but we're subtracting 2 and etc. You can go through this example all the way, but it's pretty straightforward. So how do we do this? Well, what we could do is... We could loop through the queries and we could apply them to A and then do another loop and sum up the even values each time. You know what I mean? Like we could uh, loop through the queries, like queries.length i++. And, you know, we could be like, okay, int index is equal to queries of i of 1. Int value is equal to queries of i of zero and then we could you know be like a of index plus equals value and then go through all of a now and sum up you know get like a even sum sum up all the even values and then add that to an output array each time but uh that's pretty slow so we could do this a little bit faster here's the approach uh first of all we needed our output array so the output array is, like I said, equal to the length of the queries because we're adding a number each time we um, evaluate a query. Um, so this is what we're going to be returning. And the approach is to get the even sum before. So we're going to get calculate the sum of all even numbers in the array. So we'll loop through int uh, val in a um, if val mod 2 check if it's even if the current element in a is even we'll add it on to our even sum so we have the even sum now this loop right here gets our even sum okay now we can use this within this loop so we're evaluating the queries now what we can do is we can say 
okay, we have our value, our index. If the current, if the in, if the uh, value in the array that we have to modify, if that is even right now, well then let's subtract it from our even sum because we're going to be changing it. So let's subtract a of index from the even sum we have. We're going to be changing this value in the array. For example, like, um, you know, this 2 is part of the even sum we calculate. If we're going to be changing it, let's just get rid of it for now. Let's add the value on, and then let's just check it again. If after we add the value, it's still even, we can just add it right back on. And then that way, we have this initial sum of all the even values. We make sure to maintain that sum with still the even values. So um, we check if it's even before, we add the value on, we subtract it if it is, we add the value on. If it's even afterwards, we add it back onto that sum. And then we, you know, we it's going to be the correct amount sum of all the even numbers in the array. So we can add it to our output array. So we could just say, okay, output array of i is equal to even sum at this point. And then you just return the output array. And, um, you know, that's uh, pretty much the problem. Int cannot be converted to Boolean because I always mess up at least once. Uh, just a generic for loop, you know, always messing up. There you go. So that was the problem. The uh, time complexity is... If you count n, o of n, to loop through all these numbers and calculate the sum of all the even numbers at first. So that's o of n. And then we could count this as m, if you want to count queries as m. So o of n plus m. So, you know, depending on what the sizes of these are, uh, it's pretty good, though. You know, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every one of you, every last one of you all the viewers, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Pretty, pretty straightforward problem. Um, that's it. All right, see ya.